another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, Beemars. And Shanti. And we're eating some extra special today. Which, which is fire mac and cheese. I am so excited. Ah. I'm so excited. So this was inspired by Zach Choi. Mm -hmm. And the cheese king. I was looking at his thumbnails. We were, we're trying to step up our thumbnail game, and they were all just like amazing, holy stretchy pulley cheese. cheese. And I was like, how? Yeah. Are you so talented, sir? And uh, so that's what inspired this video. Um, if you want to see a recipe, maybe I can I'll write it down in the description box. But it's basically Daya, spicy jack cheese, a potato, because that's what makes it like stretchy, I think. Mm -hmm. A carrot, because that's what makes it orange. Blend it up. And then I added in like three different types of hot sauce. And cayenne pepper and Korean goju jaru. Is that the pepper? Yeah, goji jaru is the pepper, is the powder. Oh, so yeah. um, let's just dig in on it. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And we post videos every Monday. We also have an Instagram that's at mukbang.monday. My personal one is bmars, S-Z, and hers is Shanti Marie with an underscore. Yeah, so go don't follow go. us. All right, I am so ready. Look at this fire cheese. I'm so excited. You can see like the little speckles of heat in it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, she's sticky. It is sticky. Oh, she's really spicy. Mmm. We're drinking uh, ginger ale. I can't find any of the Godzivias anymore. It's always like the grape soda and like cream soda. Who needs that? <sighs> this is really spicy, Chantal. Holy. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry. You gotta go to Sprouts. They have every single flavor. Really? Sprouts is so far for me. Mm. This is spicy. My mouth is already burning. Yeah. I'm mm. having regrets. I'm adding too much hot sauce. Yeah. I think, it, I think it tastes really good though. It does taste really good. Mm. It's probably one of my favorite like cheese like things that you've come up with. I think so too. This is one of my better recipes. Mm. Wow. Mm. You guys, I wish you could taste this. It's still steaming too. It's like hot temperature and hot flavor. I wish I didn't make it so spicy. Yeah, they wouldn't have known. <laughs> I know. I was like literally just dousing it in hot sauce. We we're trying to make it like more red. Mm hmm. You guys. I should really include the recipe. Mm. It's really hard to take a big bite at once. I mean, it's equivalent to like the nuclear noodles. Really? Like so spice level? Yeah. Oh my god. Why did I make it so spicy? Are you dying? <laughs> it's just hard to like take a big bite of. Mm. I can feel my eyelids sweating. Mm. I'm also starving. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Did you get stuck? <coughs> no, I got like the carbonation down my windpipe. So we've been making this for like probably <laughs> like a couple hours now because the first noodles I like completely overcooked and they turned to like actual like mush. Like a literal ball. Yeah, I carbs. dumped it out of the colander into the trash can and it was a c perfect circle <laughs> form to the colander. So then we had to make wait for our other second batch of noodles to boil. <coughs> nice. Holy shit, this is so spicy. This is so spicy. Why did I do this to us? I don't know. <laughs> like, was Zach Choi struggling like this? Actually, he put like a half bottle of the fire sauce. And his first text was like, I should have done that. <laughs> really? I have to go to work tomorrow and I'm going to be having diarrhea. <laughs> it's going to be so... This is like... 
Pardon, because it's also so saucy. Uh-huh. Like, a noodle to sauce ratio is very heavy on the sauce. <laughs> this would be really good if we had the, the lapel mics on because then it would be like... You can hear, like, the gooeyness. Should we put them on? No, it's fine. Just, you got a fancy uh. mic. <laughs> he would have, like, murdered their ears if we had the lapel mics just then. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, sorry, that was so <laughs> disgusting. Why do I just do that? Like, it's no big deal. No, people love it. <laughs> people are gonna comment, like, that they hate my sniffles. But this is, like, so hot. There's no way my mouth is, or my nose is not gonna be running. Yeah, you're really, you're really, like, eating faster than I am because you're, like, starving. I'm so hungry. I'm, like, taking my time because my mouth is on fire. But sometimes with hot food, it's easier to eat fast. Mm. What's hard is just so cheesy. Like, I want more noodles because I'm like. The bubbles sesame. makes the spice so much worse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. No, you're fine. I thought today would be fun if we talked about our opinions on unpopular opinions. Did we already do this before or did you just do it? I thought I just did it, but maybe we did do it too. I think we might have, but I don't remember. It all just blurs together in my head. Like all our conversations. Holy shit, shut up. I know, I really f***ed up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so sorry. You were like so ready to devour a delicious warm meal and this is so spicy that you can't. I feel like you're not eating. I know, I'm sorry. My mouth is on fire. Okay, let's get some unpopular opinions up in here. Okay. Some of these are kind of stupid though, but... Which is... Showering at night is better than showering in the morning. Incorrect. Whoever said that doesn't have hair. Because to sleep with wet hair, or like... Even when I think I let it dry and then I sleep with it and it's like a little like moist in the back, it just becomes like a frizz ball. Uh -huh. like Sleeping in wet hair is the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Showering in the morning, I used to shower before I, before like 9.40 ballet at Point Park. It would like wake up my nervous system. Mm. And then I would like take my, um, what is it called, dry brush. And like if you like dry brush your body, it like also wakes up your nervous system I read. Wow. Gets you going for 9.40 ballet. That's funny because for 9.40 ballet, I woke up at 9 p.m. and then I ran <laughs> to school and I like barely made it on time every... I know, that's when I was like real intense. <clears throat> um, so do you agree or disagree? Yeah, like, I think a morning shower wakes you up, but like, I don't understand how people go an entire day and then don't shower before they go to bed. Like get into a bed with a dirty body. It depends on what I do. Like if I work out, I usually midday shower. Honestly. I midday shower too. That's my that's what I do. Because I'll do it after I work out and then my hair will dry or whatever. <sighs> but yeah, if I like ran and then I didn't shower till the next morning, like Yeah. I would be itchy. Uh-huh. Oh my god. I don't like getting into a, a clean bed like with a dirty body. With a dirty body, yeah. I also hate it's my biggest pet peeve. I hate washing my face at night and splashing water everywhere. Mm. I would rather like get in the shower to wash my face <clears throat> or wash my face in the kitchen sink Like I stop completely washing my face in the sink. Oh, really? I do it every night. I hate it But I do I have to like take off my Apple watch when I do it because it's like the water is like dripping down yeah. your arms And then it drips on your like your shirt before you go to bed. Yeah, it makes me want to die Like I there's nothing I hate worse. That's so funny. I have a towel like Obviously I have like a hand towel, but then I have another towel that I just take and I wipe down the sink after because it drives me nuts Yeah <sighs> so hot, Shanti. I could do that too. Yeah, I really... So do you guys want to know the hot sauces I used? In case you want to make this? I used a combination of Tapatio, Frank's Red Hot Original, and I think Frank's Red Hot Buffalo. They're like two different bottles. And I put in like a Go tablespoon of cayenne and yeah, goji, oh goji jaru. The cayenne is probably what really got us. Cayenne is really spicy. Uh. 
My jacket. And the cheese is pepper jack cheese. So it already has like spice in it too. It has a little bit of spice. Yeah. Oof. What's the uh, next one? Pickle juice is delicious, nutritious, and a treat for your mouth and body. Oh, a hundred percent. I agree. I love pickle juice. I f***ing love pickle juice. <coughs> pickle juice is the best alcohol chaser. Yes, I love pickle Shot box. Chaser. I got really, uh, I went to see uh, The Rock of Ages on Thursday. They opened it in Hollywood. And I had shots, I had picklebacks, and I literally got so fucked up because you can't even taste the alcohol. Yeah, you it's literally amazing. can't. And like, I used to love pickle martinis. Ooh. Like, instead of using olive juice, you use pickle juice. I, I used to do that when I was a bartender. And I was like, stop your hangover before it starts because there's so much electrolytes in pickle juice. And if I was hungover, oh my god, I used to order pickle juice from Jimmy John's. Like, really? With a sub in Pittsburgh. And like, I didn't know they did that. They don't, but like Bridget worked there, so I'd be like, put a cup of pickle juice in there for me. And she'd be like, you're disgusting, <laughs> and I'd be like, do it. That's hilarious. You guys, I gave up drinking. I haven't had a drop of alcohol since my birthday. Why? You don't have a problem. I was starting to have a problem. I would just drink by myself every single night in the house for no reason. So you're never drinking again, or? No. Ever? No. <laughs> Okay. It's all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks for me because I like drinking with you, but I don't really drink that much. But then I like went out one night and I was like, went on a bender. Mm. I was starting, this is like, okay, so I definitely wasn't like a full on alcoholic, but like I was starting to like crave alcohol. Like I'd just be sitting. Like wine? Yeah. I'd just be sitting. I'd be like, oh, I really want a glass of wine right now. And then like. I don't know, I, just, I was having strong cravings and I was like, I should probably just stop drinking. So it's crazy because like, it was I never drink alone in my house. Or like even like me and Max, like, I never really like have a glass of wine or beer. I only like go out with, it's like social drinking. Yeah. It started for me, like I would drink as I was like editing mm -hmm. or like filming, like, and then it just became like a habit. And then I was like, this is a really bad habit. So then I stopped, and I'm never drinking again ever in my whole life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a little aggressive. Uh, okay. What's another one? I'm really hot. So if you ever want to do sober activities... I always ask you to hang out with me. I wish you could come to the comedy show on Wednesday. I'm working. Yeah, you said this is your only free day this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, here we are. <laughs> I like ask you to hang out. You're like, I'm not free at all, but I'm depressed because no one will hang out with me. But I can't hang out with you ever. Like, no, I we just have opposite schedules. I'm free on um, Thursday, also. Oh yeah, but I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. Are you not gonna eat at all? I am. You can cut this out, <laughs> but I'm just like, am I alone here? I am eating. Okay. Do you want me to read another one? <laughs> it's like, looking at you, I'm like, is she ever going to take a bite or is she just going to let me suffer alone? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing that. Because you're like, no, it's going to be painful. Yeah. It like really like coats your whole mouth. Yeah, it's because the cheese is like so thick. <laughs> yeah. This was a I did this to us. It's like, like I didn't in my have, throat. I didn't have to make it I'm going to go out. And to like a fast food place after this, like I'll be full, but I just need like anything else in my body because my whole throat is like coated in cheese. I bet I'm getting like a heat rush right now. Am I? You guys don't know how spicy this is. It's so spicy. And yes, you're having a lit. Heat rush. I'm getting a heat rash. Ugh. I'm so hot, but I wanted to wear a fuzzy jacket. So I was. I I ditched my fuzzy jacket. Like I'm dying right now. <laughs> I mean, we're both still wearing kind of <coughs> tank tops. Ha! <laughs> like, the carbonation makes it so much worse. I know, it really does. Okay, what's the next question? The next one is, it's annoying when people say... <coughs> oh. <laughs> the next one is, it's annoying when people say, bless you after you sneeze, they should mind their own business. What does that even mean? I don't agree with that. Like, I that's think the stupidest thing I've ever read. Nice. People just hate talking to people. Like, you can just say thank you or bless you or like be kind to people. Like, I love when some stranger blesses me. Yeah. Or like when somebody it like looks happy. at me in the face like after I serve them and they're like, thank you. And I'm like, you're welcome. Like nobody like makes eye contact anymore. Or, like really appreciates. I think that's an LA thing. Like you, 
I feel like any other place you walk down the street and you say hi to your neighbors. Yeah. Here, it's like there's so many people that it's it you can't. You're really desensitized. Like, yes, a hundred percent. Like the fact that people are like I don't want to talk to you in my Uber. I'm like you can't talk to someone for five minutes. Like I get it if it's like an hour trip or something, but like you can't just ask someone how their day's going. See, but that's I don't know. I feel like once you get a chatty Uber driver, if you initiate the conversation, then they just keep on going. Mm-hmm. So that's you can't just have a cordial. Yeah, like, have you been in Uber where they just keep on talking and talking and talking and talking and talking? Yeah. And you're like, I just want to look at my phone for, like, <laughs> 10 <little> minutes. <laughs> no, but I was reading that gratitude book, and it was, like, say thank you to, like, 10 people who have given you a service today and, like, think about, like, your trash man and how, like, your trash would pile up if you just didn't do that. Or, like, if you're barista, like, whatever. Stupid shit, because you, like, you just go through life and you're like, oh, like, you take for granted, like... Yeah. Especially people in service. I really want to um, make a point to like talk to people more and like communicate with people. Mm -hmm. But also, I don't know, in LA it's kind of scary because you don't know like... If somebody's going to kill you. Yes. Or if someone's like a crazy psycho. Yeah. So I get scared. Somebody at my job, um, a buster at my job just got jumped <gasps> in downtown like by my like work. No way. And it's crazy to me that he got jumped because he's like six foot tall, like looks tough, like man. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, if they're going to jump him, but he was alone. So I always make sure I like walk with people. But yeah, he felt them like grab his back, uh, his phone out of his back pocket. So he like turned around and they sucker punched him and they like dropped him to the ground and then they kicked him while he was down. And now he has a bunch of cracked ribs. And that's so, and he's so nice. His, his name is Antonio. He's from France. And they stole his passport. I was like, what are you going to do with that? That's so mean. I hate this story. It's not so sad. I'm really, really sad. That sucks. But downtown is like terrifying. Sketch. It's like a different world. Colin loves downtown. That's like his favorite part of LA. Ew. It's just like human feces everywhere. <laughs> There's some really cool restaurants and like buildings, but... That's true. There is some... Like, really cool restaurants and bars and stuff, but, like, the majority of downtown like is, like, LA building. like, Hill Street and, like, Spring Street and all that. It's just, like, tent city. Looks there's a lot of tents. But I feel like there's so many tents everywhere. Yeah, it's getting no. really crazy. It's really bad. Um, What's another one? Oh, do the pineapple pizza one. What do you think about pineapple pizza? Oh, yeah, one said that, uh, oh, it said, like, a Hawaiian pizza is good. Like, pineapple and ham. I used to like that. I've honestly never ate it. Like, I don't... Really? Yeah. Oh no my one's God. ever, like, ordered it around me so that we I should try it. it. We should do a pineapple pizza mukbang. But what if I don't like it? And I'll eat it. The whole thing? We like can me with this mac and cheese right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get two different ones. I'd be down. I mean, I'm down to try it. But yeah, I don't know. I Like, I don't want to order it and not like it and then, like, spend the money on it. Like, I've always waited to, like, go to a pizza party with it at mm. it. But I haven't been there. No pizza parties? No pizza parties. When my family would order 10 pizzas for our family, we would get like one pineapple in the rotation. Mmm. I have a pizza in a lot of time to do that. Oh my god. Why did I do this to us? I don't know. Remember when we were taste testing it and I was like, it's not spicy enough. Yeah, and then you just dumped a whole mother bottle in. Yeah, I, I can feel like, my stomach like being like, I'm gonna <laughs> shit my pants tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> in my costume. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck in like it's a gonna be dripping down my <laughs> leg and my gown. Like in bridesmaids, disgusting. Yes. <laughs> I watched that recently um, on the airplane, and it's just such a freaking classic. Okay, here's another one. Watching a movie at home is yeah, better is. than watching a movie in theaters. Um, going to the movie theater is like fun when you're there, but it is more work. You know, it's fun if you're like looking for a date. Like, mm -hmm. it's fun to, like, go and, like, get popcorn, and me and Max are always, like, fighting over, like, which snacks to get, and then, like, I oh. mean, don't get me wrong, I love watching movies at home, but, I don't, then it doesn't feel like you're doing anything, like, we're, like, going <coughs> to the movies feels like, we're going on a date, mm -hmm. like, where, like, me and Max will watch a movie or TV at home, anytime. But. Oh, my God. I like watching movies at home. I don't like the movies, because... <laughs> I've probably said this before because I've always felt this way. I remember going to see The Lord of the Rings in like the third grade and that was like, it's a long ass movie. Yeah. And so we like went in, in like a matinee and the sun was still up and then like four hours later, maybe not four hours, like three hours later, mm -hmm. the sun would set, was, had already set and I remember like coming out of movie theaters like 
holy shit, I was just like in there for so long. Like <laughs> I lived what, in there. <laughs> yeah, what the f time of day is it? Yeah, so, I only like to go to the movies at night. Yeah, after that, I didn't really like movies anymore because I felt like I had just like been there the whole day. Yeah. But I don't really like go to, on dates during the day. Like I always like get dinner or like go get drinks or I don't know. A matinee. Matinee, yeah. I would never go to a matinee. It's too much time. They're cheaper though. That's true. How are you doing, kid? I'm getting a headache. Really? Yeah. What's another one? Taking a nap is usually a bad idea. I agree. I don't believe in naps. Because they say the perfect nap is 20 minutes. There's no guarantee if I set my alarm for 20 minutes that I'm going to fall asleep right away. It usually takes me 15 minutes to fall asleep. So then I get a five minute nap. <laughs> or I like set my alarm for an hour. And then I'll get like a 45 minute nap. Like I can never get like the perfect 20 minute nap. To I agree. Like... So the other day I had a nap before work and I went in and I was so sluggish. I did not feel like it helped me really regain energy at all. I think it made it worse. Yeah. Like my body was like, just keep sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the same thing with movies. Like once I wake up from a nap, I'm like, what the world am I in? Mm -hmm. Like it, it really like disorientates me. Disorient. Disorient. Yeah, I think. Disoriented. Disoriented. <laughs> Disorient. Disorient. Uh, disorients. I'll just like, disorients me. Disoriented. <laughs> Why does this sound so weird now? I think we've had this problem before. It's like the, um, when I was signing the contract today for the commercial, there was like an exclusivity clause, and I was like, exclusivity, 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 exclusivity. And he was like, what? And I was like, <laughs> Exclusivity, exclusivity, but it's exclus. Ex no, now I've said it so many times. I did this. I did it again. Exclusivity. Exclusivity. I think is the actual word. Oh. But it, the T and the V get so like jumbled up. Yeah, I felt real dumb. The guy was like, <laughs> and I'm just in a TV. He's probably like. He's like, sign Are your you contract, okay? please leave. Yeah. Okay, should we do one more? Mm-hmm. This one is, it's better to be hot than cold. I agree. I would rather be hot. I'd rather be a little sweaty. I would rather be hot 100%. And a little flush. Oh my God, I almost just lost. There is nothing worse um, than being dance, cold. Like dancing when you're cold. Oh my God. Yeah, and like today on set, I was in a polo and it was like 60 degrees outside and my toes were like, numb and then you know when you like get back hot again i was like oh it's gonna be so itchy yeah like when your blood rushes to your Can't extremities it's so spicy i'm gonna take i don't know if quick. people will Just shovel it down enjoy watching this because it, like it's very visible that we're in pain i thought people liked spicy food yeah, people love watching the like nuclear noodles and stuff. Oh my god. I'm starting to get a headache and I don't know why. I think this is the spice is going directly to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach. I'm not doing good. <sighs> I can like feel it in like my upper rib cage area. I don't know why I did this. We could have lied. We could have told them it was spicy. Yeah, they would have never known. They would have never known to know. Except then they'd probably be like, you guys aren't. Oh yeah, because we didn't even show them, like, Zach Choi like, made the recipe. Yeah. We didn't even make the recipe. And then... Last bite. Do you want to answer one more question? One more question. One more bite. Okay, last one. Controversial. Talking on the phone is easier and better than texting. Mm. I don't agree. I feel like some people will call me and I'm like, why are you calling me? Yeah. You just text me. I'm like, or I like, you know somebody calls you, they want to like rant about something and then you're like, oh, I don't want to be on the phone that long. Because <laughs> you can't really do other things when you're like on the phone. Yeah. I and mean, you can kind of like not do anything like with your full attention. Yeah, you can like walk around your house mm -hmm. and like do random shit. 
And like sometimes, you guys, this is so spicy, my mouth is burning. Why did I do this to us? It's really spicy. <laughs> I don't even mind, mind texting. Look, you can just get to the point, but like if I'm trying to get a hold of somebody, I'd rather just call them and then like get a confirmation of whatever information I need. Uh, I feel like you should probably call me when you need something out of me. Mm -hmm. But you're also a terrible texter. That's you what I mean. You text me back after like three days. You should call me. Yeah. You just learn what people need what in your life. <laughs> like you and Max are both the same. Like I have to call you guys. Or like FaceTime yeah, you. But if anybody else calls me, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a long conversation. I'm not ready for it. I actually turned my phone on so that the only time I hear my phone ring is when it's like a number saved in my phone because I get so many robocalls. Robocalls. I it's do. Brought me a lot of peace. But then I'm worried if I ever broke anything and I miss it. But usually they email you, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you let us know again by giving it a big thumbs up. Comment down below responding to the unpopular opinions we talked about and saying if you agree or disagree with us. <clears throat> yeah, let us know if you want to do us to do more of those. Yes. Or what other uh, ever uh, topic ideas you guys have, let us know. We have this new mukbang setup, so we're ready to crush vids and get... Let us know if you like the setup. I More food. I figured out how to like um, set up my camera properly, finally. Yeah. Well, so we might be repeating old videos, but oh my god, view. I need like I don't know what I need. I I'm need ice cream. Dip my tongue in, like an ice bath. Oh my god, yeah. Do you have ice cream? No. We can make some. That sounds <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I have like so, like my pantry is stocked full of food, but it's food that you have to make, so it's like doesn't count. Yeah. Oh my god, I just bought mochi recently. Okay, this doesn't matter, but... Oh my god, uh, I'm in we, so much pain. We love you guys so much. And we will see you next time. Mukbang Monday, Monday out. out. I don't know why I just like hit a wall there. Uh, oh. No, I was hitting a wall at the end. Every time I took a bite, I was like...